We've already seen that Predator is a pretty feature-rich synth. There's a lot going on here, and learning how to use it in a three to four minute screencast is probably unrealistic. So I thought I'd guide you through some basic patch creation technique and show you how to at least choose your oscillators and your filters and maybe get some modulation going. I would suggest the best way to delve into this synth is to look through the presets, I always say this, and then you can try and reverse engineer some of the more complex patches. But if you're just getting going, you'll want to start with oscillator selection. So what I did was I reset this synth, I went to reset device here, and it gives you a load of sine waves, it actually gives you three sine wave oscillators. I've changed these to saw waves, but apart from that I've really not touched the initialized patch. And of course you can save an initialized patch of your own if you find a better starting point than the propeller heads reset patch. So if we take a listen, you can hear that we've just got a single saw wave. And you can see here that in oscillator one, we've got one saw wave. And you pick your oscillator simply by using this drop down menu or using this knob here. I'm not going to turn it because it will probably change what I've got. Uh, but we can just simply select a new kind of saw, if we prefer that one. I'm going to stick with the basic saw wave. In fact, I've selected three saw waves, but you can see that oscillator two and oscillator three are currently switched off. Let's go ahead and switch those on. With these on, we can then start to fine tune the second and third oscillator. If you find they're a bit loud, we can use these volume controls. And what we get there is a really wide, spread out, uh, chorus unison style super saw. So it sounds pretty nice, I'm pretty happy with that. What we want to add is some filtering. So again, we want to choose something from the drop down menu here. I'm going to go with a 12 dB low pass. I'm going to add some resonance here. Let's take a listen to this. Now let's try adding some effects. What about a little bit of stereo delay? Now let's sweep the filter again and add a little bit more resonance. That sounds great. Now if you want to change the envelope for the amp, you would go here and we can open up the release and maybe the attack and make it more pad-like. And maybe we can change the filter envelope to match as well. Slower attack, and slower release. So you can see in four or five moves, although we've not really accessed the sequencer and the more complicated mod matrix, we've already started to program a pretty original sound. And hopefully this should show you that Predator really isn't that scary, even though it's got quite a, a feature rich interface and there's a lot going on here. You can start to create a pad or a bass sound really without you know, too much knowledge of the instrument itself. All you need is a little synthesis know-how and you can get yourself going. I'd strongly advise you to try building your own patches in this way with Predator and also try looking at the presets at the same time. Uh, it'll give you something to shoot for.